Well, Annette, I'm in front of the headquarters for the French oil giant Total. Uh, it's been a long day for these protesters, and it's not over yet. They began around 8.30, blocking the entrances to four sites that they consider the biggest climate offenders. So Total is one of them, Société Générale, the bank, uh, EDF, the Energy uh, Authority in France, and the French Ministry for Ecological Transition. Now, these protesters are here because they say they don't like the collaboration that they've seen between the government and big businesses at the expense of the environment. Uh, they also have a problem with President Emmanuel Macron's po approach to this. They say that, like you can see this, this uh, sign behind me, they say that Macron is uh, too much talk and not, not enough action when it comes to climate, and that he favors uh, policies that benefit big businesses instead of the environment. So today they said, They've done petitions, they've done marches, no one has listened to them, and so now they're taking more drastic measures, they're going into civil disobedience action, and that's what's happening here. So you can see the protesters are here, there's police officers at the entrance there. They say they're going to stay here until the police officers make them leave. Even if that means getting arrested, they've got food, they've got water, they have medical teams. There has been a bit of tension with employees uh, who are, as you can imagine, not very happy about the fact that protesters are blocking them from going to work. A lot of heated debate, but it has sparked conversation. There's been a lot of conversation that I've seen, that I've uh, been witness to, of people talking about climate change. And that's what activists say is part of the point of today's action, is that they want to start a conversation. And that's what they hope to do today. Anka Olaire reporting there from La Defense. Thank you. To Washington.